Let's download, install, and reskin MVP, your new favorite media player. Right out of the box, this thing will be able to play every single file type that you could throw at it, but it does look a little ugly. So we're gonna go to GitHub and reskin it to make it look more modern. So let's get it started. MPV.io is the website, and as always, links to everything will be in the description. We're gonna click on installation. We're gonna to go to the second link here, taking us to GitHub, where we will now go to the download tips and click on that first link there. So this is going to download MPV for you. It's a zip file. You can extract it here. However, we're not going to do anything with this file yet. Okay. So I'm going to rename it MPV. Now that we've done that, we need to drag this into your program files. So you can just copy and paste it in here. Now that we have the folder exactly where we want it, let's go to the installer tab here and you'll see MPV installer.bat. We are going to right click that and then run as administrator and click yes. And now we're seeing all of the file types that we can throw at it to play. Okay, great. And now we have it installed and running. Another thing you can do is open this exe file. And now what you can do is something like if you have a folder of a collection of videos that you want to play, you can drag and drop that into this and it'll play every video in that folder. You wouldn't necessarily do that often, but just letting you know what you can do with this. That's why there is an exe file here. Okay, the next thing that I suggest doing is going to your default apps here, and then we're going to search for MPV. Look at that. And now there are some popular file types that you should make the MPV default player for. And you'll be asked this question as you play those videos. So this is just kind of a side note, this is what I would do. I would go and look for MKV files, um, anything that is video related, I would look for them here and then make sure that I have MPV as the default app. So I'm gonna be choosing Modern Z Skin um, for MPV. And one thing that I'll note right away is you have two sets of icons that you can choose from. The Fluent seen on top here and you have Material as seen on the bottom. And you can just right now pick one that you like more and then that will change depending on the files that we download. So to download those files, we're just scrolling all the way to the bottom. We're going to get whichever one you liked more. I think I liked Fluent. And then you're going to get the config file, so modernz.conf. And then we're going to get the modernz.lua file. So download all three of these to your desktop. Hold Windows R to open the run. And we're going to go to percent app data percent, which takes us to our roaming tab. Now let's create a folder called MPV, unless you already have one. Now within this empty folder, we're gonna create three new folders. Scripts, script-opts, fonts. And this is just as simple as dragging and dropping. So we have the icons file. We can drag and drop that into fonts. We have the LUA file and we're going to drag that into scripts. And then that last file, we're going to go into script dash ops. For the final thing, we are going to create a new text document here. Open that up. And what we need to do here is tell MPV player to not use your stock UI. And all we have to do for that is type in OSC equals no. Click on file, save as mpv.config, save it. Okay, and now I'm just gonna delete that text file and we're good to go. You're all set up now, this is it. Let's watch a video, just you and me. So no head. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the tutorial, that's how you install it. MPV is an open source media player and the reason that I bring that up is because you have access to so many things. There are skins, there are plugins, there are config files, there are keyboard shortcuts. There's so many things that you can do. This will probably not be the final video for me on MPV player, but you have it installed and you have it looking decent. Okay, so that's the beginning. There's more to come. There's so much you can do with this. It's an extremely powerful software. Um, I appreciate you guys for sticking along and hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. 
I have a Discord that I like to promote. You can join there and talk with me um, and share any ideas, please. If anyone here is more of an expert than I am, this is, I would love to collaborate with some people on what cool things I should show MPV can do.